All right, so in today's video, we are going to go over the new left trigger, right trigger dead zones, all of my sensitivity and settings, as well as the customized control inputs and everything that you should be using for this new season. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's the day. The new operator is here and we have a ton of new controller options that we can be using. So I wanna talk about all of them and explain what they do. So first, let's go over the settings, then I'll explain everything with the new dead zones and customized control options. All right, so now for these settings, this is what I have. So I have drone after prep on manual. This basically means that if the prep phase ends, it doesn't kick me out of the drone. So if I'm trying to run away from somebody, I don't get thrown on my drone and then lose it once the prep, prep phase ends. Then I have diffuser pickup on uh, both. So it means it will automatically pick it up. I don't have to go up to it and press X on it. HUD, uh, you can put it on normal. Uh, the only thing I would lower would be the compass appearance. I would put the compass appearance on simplified so that way it's not so gigantic. Otherwise it's a very big compass. So anything else doesn't really matter. It is all preference completely up to you. Now we have the audio settings. This is what I use. Okay, don't mind it being on 80. I had it lower because uh, I was recording something and it was very loud. But normally I would recommend playing on 90 to 100. Uh, for the master volume then for the dynamic range i have night mode you can use hi-fi if you want but i've quite literally tested this out on many tiktoks night mode is going to make the louder noises quieter and the quieter noises louder so if you are thinking about gunshots they will be quieter on night mode if you think about footsteps vaulting in throwing gadgets going on your you know phone stuff like that that would be you know much louder in night mode quite literally the opposite for hi-fi apparently people say different headsets have different stuff like people like oh i like hi-fi more it's the opposite for me i've te this, tested this out and i use night mode i'm telling you start using it then for display i have vsync off however this apparently is preference i always tell people to put it off people would tell me that they like it like has screen tears when they have it off so i guess it matters depending on your monitor but i have mine off then obviously 90 field of view this is important to me i would not recommend or at least I would say 80 and up is the way for FOV. Um, I play on 90 because I sit two inches in front of my monitor. Uh, I'm gonna be blind by 30. It is a lost cause. I would not recommend to playing on 90 uh, unless you sit close to your monitor because you won't be able to see certain head glitches and stuff like that. But on 90, I feel like it's much better. My recoil control fits much better. I can see more, but 80 to 84 to 90 is not bad at all. That's solid. If anything lower, just less recoil control or more recoil. You can't see as much. I just, I, I think higher FOV is better. Then let's look at the controls. Vibration enabled. You don't need that. I'm just a freak. Gadget deployment advanced. This would be if I'm placing a thermite on a wall and somebody runs out on me, I can instantly get out of it. and I'm not stuck placing it in there. So advanced. Drone deployment advanced this is good for baiting out people, right? If I throw my drone and somebody's about to run out on me, I, I'm not automatically in my drone once I throw it. It takes, you know, I have to go into it after I throw it. So it's good for baiting people out. Now we have the customized controller inputs. I'm going to talk about this in a minute, but let me show you the rest of my settings first. Look conversion disabled, classic rotation. I do not like updated. I think updated is gross. So classic. Vertical sense 50, horizontal 100, left stick 5, right stick 5. Now we have the left trigger and right trigger dead zones. In my opinion, this should be on zero. Let me break down what this is so that you guys understand it, okay? So this basically means that, right, let's say I would have put this to max, okay? Right, let's put both these to max. Obviously, you would never do this, but let me just show you. When I press this button, this is going to take longer to aim down sights. So it's not instant, right? I have to make sure that this hits the bottom of this all the way and then then it will aim down sights and i'd make sure this hits the bottom all the way as well and then it will shoot when you have it on higher it takes longer to react now if we were to lower this right quite literally to zero which is what i would recommend doing this will make it much more sensitive so it is going to react so much quicker and faster to my you know pressing of it so this would be good for dmr it's like look i'm barely touching it barely touching and it's shooting right compared to the other one it takes much longer i have to go all the way down on the lt and rt for it to react this is basically like having trigger stops see how i have these things these are trigger stops this makes it so that way the controller stops it and it automatically you know reacts right away so it's like having built-in trigger stops so even if you have the trigger stops on your elite controller still put it on zero because it'll be even better you're you're going to be able to have a much better trigger finger with this on because it's going to react much faster and you don't need to go all the way down for it to count as a shot so you can like spam the shit out of that gun 
whether that's like DMRs, DMRs are going to be crazy, bro. The trigger finger on DMRs with this uh, dead zone, insane. So make sure you have this on zero. I don't see why you would not want it to have an instant react time. Maybe five if you don't want zero, but I would put it on zero. Then we have the controller ADS settings, 19, 21, 26, 31, and 36. Now you may be saying, why use this? This is very slow. No. So this is where we get into these advanced controller options, which is what I use which I want to break down for you so that way you can kind of understand. I'm going to do a speed run of breaking this down. Go check out my video from yesterday on how to find the perfect sensitivity. If you want a in-depth breakdown of the advanced settings and how you can find your perfect sensitivity, but let me break this down for you. So the reason why this is good for me is because I play on a high horizontal. So this doesn't need to be that high. If you played on like 20 horizontal or 50 horizontal, this horizontal look acceleration would be good. Cause this basically means that if I were to kind of move this analog stick all the way to the right, then this would kind of push it up by 25 sensitivity. So that way if I need to like flick around really quickly, it will help while still being able to maintain a lower horizontal without, you know, having to look around super fast only when I need to, right? That's why mine's only on 25. However, if we look at the ADS one, which is what I use, I have mine on 35. This basically means that if I'm going to flick on somebody, right? I'm aimed down sights. I aggressively throw my analog stick to the right. This is going to increase that by 35. So this will allow me to flick on somebody with still having when I'm not flicking, just looking around normal and it's not fast. And that's where this outer threshold comes in. So mine's at two, it's almost at zero, which is good. So, if, but if I were to move it all the way in, as you see that analog stick kind of getting smaller, this should basically mean that if I were to, instead of pushing it like this for it to react, I would only have to push it halfway and then it would you know, enable this horizontal look acceleration by 25% or this, you know, ADS acceleration by 35% when I get halfway. But I don't do that. I, I'd say uh, two is better because why would you want it to automatically be like that? It's really only meant to be when you need to. So that's why I enjoy playing on a lower ADS because I could still flick when I need to with these advanced settings. However, I'm not always on a fast sensitivity. If you would like a much more in-depth breakdown, on this uh, stuff, I go in, I go in about it on yesterday's video. Go check it out. But that's generally what this is. And then, of course, you know, we have the only thing that really matters in the accessibility would be the screen shake intensity. Make sure that that is always off. The rest doesn't really matter. It's really our preference. But this would just be like if like, somebody's fusing or preaching charging, it won't shake your entire damn screen. Now, for the customized controller inputs, this stuff is crazy. Let me show you this. All right, so you can quite literally make any button do anything. So let's say we wanted to do the bumper lean. That's like a very popular thing. People want to lean with their bumpers. All I would do would change the left while aiming to LB, then the right while aiming to RB. And then I would scroll down here and see where I got rid of that stuff and make that my left stick and make that my right stick. And then I hit apply. And now I am going to be quite literally much. leaning using my LB and my RB. We so it is literally that simple. All you're doing is changing those settings. And now here we go, I'm leaning like this. However, it's not just that though. So like if you wanted to, right, you can quite literally clear off this entire thing. And now you can remap this to any button you want. All this, you can remap your entire controller to literally anything that you like. It, it's like, it's really, really cool. I really do love this stuff. However, a lot of people are asking me, well, what about hip lean? Okay, well, let me show you this. Okay, so the way hip lean is going to work is it's going to be an option in the settings. It will be coming the mid season update. So I would say January is when it's going to happen. Sometime in January, we're going to be getting the hip lean update. The way it's going to work is it will be an option. You can turn it on or turn it off. When it is on, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean, or I'm going to aim in, and I'm going to lean right, right? And I'm going to un aim and when i unaim i'll be in that to the right hip lean you know form and then obviously i can lean left hip lean left hip lean right it will be the same button as my leaning and then when i want to un uh hip lean i would just aim in again and then i'm on hip lean unfortunately you cannot change it to any button like you can't just be like oh i want to hip lean with a or b it, they, they didn't give us that option unfortunately but and like can't make it into a paddle However, technically you could, because if you were to make your leaning paddles, right? Like I lean with my paddles. So technically I could hip lean with paddles, but I still have to lean with paddles. I, I wish we could do that, but I understand that it wouldn't really be possible with a regular controller because not everybody has scuff controllers. So I do understand it. Um, there's not enough buttons. So this was realistically speaking, probably the best way they did it. 
but it definitely will be interesting to see how it plays out. I do need to test it out first before I give any opinions on it because I don't know how it's going to feel. But I am very excited for hip leaning. I cannot wait to be using a shotgun with hip lean. Oh my god. Now before I end off this video, I just want to say if you guys want a tip for the season, make sure you guys get in and warm up before you go into ranked. So obviously we don't have Terra Stun. Rest in peace. I'm going to miss that so much. I am so sad it's gone. But we do have the new Defender AI playlist. That literally is fire. Okay, literally you are going to be versing five AIs. Like Capcan, Bandit, Valkyrie, um, you know, Mute. And they're actual AIs and you can change the difficulty of them. And you're literally going in and 1v5ing them. They're setting up the site. They're making rotates. They're using traps. It is like you are actually 1v5ing people. It is a really, really good like addition that came to the game that I would rec very much so recommend you give a try. I still think the fastest, most efficient way to warm up will be free for all, but that is an amazing way to deal with clutch situations, to work on your clutching and work on that. That will help you so much. Hopefully this video does help. Once again, go check out my video yesterday if you want a more in-depth video on how to find your perfect sensitivity. But I love you guys. I will see y'all. Four TikToks a day. Go check out my TikTok. Much sure. love. Peace. Sure.